What's up, TJ Nation? Hey, TJ Millionaire Mentor here. And today, guess what we're gonna do? I'm back at the old spot, <laughs> downtown LA. And guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to hook up with my man Slam, tall guy for you guys. And you know, look, here's what we're about to do. Tall guy thinks we're just gonna go drive the red eye, but what I want him to do is to drop some knowledge on how he got almost 900,000 subscribers. So we're gonna find out how he did that and I'm gonna drive the red eye and see if he's gonna let me spin it, spin it, spin it. All right, let's go. Guys, we're downstairs. Hey, we're my man, tall guy, and we're about to drive this monster, the beast that he created. So, look, he said, so it's a different car than when I drove it before. So, right now, it has 1300 to the crane. Oh, hell no. You know what I'm saying? It has a uh, thousand, one, 1150, I think, yeah. to the crane. And it's like 980 or 930 to the wheel. So, it didn't crack a thousand to the wheel, but it's like, 938 or 983 or something like that uh, to the wheel. So mm -hmm. something crazy though. And it ain't gonna hook up. If you did a burnout in this, like you did last time, yeah. the whole LA be filled with smoke because it's too much power now. I just did a burnout in it the other day. I didn't do like what you did. I just did a little one spin, half of the second spin. You know what I'm saying? And it was just smoke everywhere though. <laughs> It, look, even if you fill the back trailer, just have the trailer up on there in case you want to. Well, you know I want to. Well, go ahead then, brother. Oh, we can do that? If you want. We can spin it. Hey, brother. Cautionary warning. Yeah. This one you don't want a floor while turning. I, bro, I know that. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> saying you did it in the super stock. So I'm saying this one, it got it's like it's on hockey pucks. Here you go, now smash out. <laughs> Told you this was different. This one, this is what you were searching for that super stock. Yeah, this is this is a completely different car. This one in the higher RPMs, like even when you get past the other gears, yeah. it'll give you wheel spin at 80. I got Wilson one time at like nine, almost 90 miles an hour. One thing I have yet to do though, because I got a racer's transmission put in here, was play with the paddle shifters. So if you were to do that, that would be the first time they've ever been touched with. But you are more than welcome, sir, to, I know you're a paddle shifter man, to, uh, you know, let it go and go crazy with it. Go ahead, step on it. Shit, not around no more. I mean, it's not like all bad around the corner. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what the is. hell is that squeaking sound? Something about every time you get in my car. <laughs> every time, brother. It might be that damn wheel thing again. I don't know, what the hell. We potentially got some real big news coming for y'all uh, with TJ and me and collaborating and doing something, right? We ain't gonna tell them, but we got something big. Not just one thing, but low key a few, couple things for sure. Three things might type me for certain. So just stay tuned for it and wait for it. Let's see. Tell me it ain't more stiff and structured. It's that racing transmission. Yeah, I told you, bro. <laughs> See, now this is the response oh, I wanted from you when we were in the super stock. <laughs> Like if I'm going around 
<laughs> oh yeah, hey, that that tell me it don't feel good on your back. That's that back shield. Yeah. It feel oh, good, don't is it? Is that what what's that? It, does your back feel cool? Yeah, yeah. Structure, right? Yeah, yeah. I keep that back on my on my back seat. This is crazy. Nah. Told y'all. Didn't I say different. it? There's a whole different beast. I can't even lie. This is a whole different car. Whole different experience. I've never driven anything this fast. It's, Nothing. It's the tall guy effect. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. Sway, did he give me my respect? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give my put some respect on my name, man. And on the hell keys, man. It's, it's, it's the real deal. All right, well, let's get it. About, about time I got some respect. That's Tell me them brakes ain't up to par. Are they up to par, brother? But you know, you gotta hit them soon. Tell though. me that ball shit. Catch my ball. <laughs> you, you can't, you can't wait for them to. Uh, I saw those lights up there. I was like, right. yeah. brakes. No, but these, I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. These brakes yeah. are the best brakes I've ever felt on any car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it gives me so much reassurance. Like even on my Aventador, I don't get the reassurance on those brakes like I do with these brakes. <laughs> I like the downshifts in this too. They so buttery, smooth, soft, and aggressive too. Like in this one, like I'm not saying it's a Vintador transmission, but well, on a Vintador transmission. I, no, no, no. I'm saying no, no. I don't think so. I like the single clutch. Uh, I do. I like the aggressiveness. You know what I mean? I guess it's an acquired taste. I see what you're saying. Yeah. But you see how it's shifting hard. I see what you like. I like the shift. I like when it shifts hard. As opposed to turn, turn, turn. yeah, like my McLaren shift. I like the way my McLaren shift when I want it to go fast and go around some shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not going to disrupt anything. You know, like when you're going around turns, like what you mentioned with this, like when you're going around turns, it might shift that gear and it might throw you off. You know what I mean? But on my McLaren, you can hit a gear, go up, down a gear, it ain't going to change. It's just going to stay right in sync where you want to go. You know what I'm saying? I do like that. But I'm talking about just casually driving, I like an aggressive shift. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think I remember this spot right yes. here. This is where you did last. I don't know. That we did last time. This is where you did it last time because we went over that bridge. Burn out in the middle of the moon. Right there. Yep, right over there. Because then you came up this way, remember? And then remember we seen the police with smoke coming out there. Main name mentor touches. Let's see, let's see something. I'm ready to be impressed, brother. Save you more. You want to do off? I want to turn it off. Right now? Yeah. And you going to do it? Hey. No, no, I just want to turn it off. All right. Just be advised, <laughs> we are turning the traction control completely off. <laughs> what? How much horsepower? There it goes. How much horsepower? To the crane. Pray for me. 965 horsepower to the crane. Uh, nine something to the uh no it's to a thousand wheel. it's 1150 to the crank I okay. think something like that but it's nine something to the wheel. Okay. You gotta get up right now though. Let them catch this. I wanna feel it. Okay, okay. all right, man. I, was, I gotta feel what I'm doing. Bro. Making a movie. I wanna get up next to him and be sideways. No, you ain't lying about that. Never know what all this construction going on. I should probably get in the car with them and just let you have fun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> just let you knock yourself out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hold on, T. It yeah, is uh, empty, by the way. <laughs> hold on, T, hold on. I just want to see what it's doing, man. Hey, let's hurry up, please, because TJ cannot <laughs> hold on to his energy right now. It is coming out. Oh, I know. We're coming out. Hold on, T. T, wait. Hold on. They coming. They coming. Be advised. ETA. I don't know what <laughs> I'm saying. Just hurry the fuck. Hold on, wait. Wait, T, wait. You gotta wait for them. They try to catch it, brother. It feels good, though. Oh, it, the car feels good. Thank you, brother. I appreciate the it. The car feels good. This is my pride and joy right here. Yeah, car feels Yeah, I would. My fiance first, and then yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got the whole disclaimer. <laughs> Love and Slim, go subscribe. Be my fiance's YouTube channel. 
<laughs> Bubba love his little Instagram. <laughs> so, bro, look, you got like, you know, between the two channels, you got a million subscribers. Yeah. You got a million subscribers. Mm -hmm. Between so, two. So, like, for YouTube, you know, you need to drop some knowledge, man, and tell, you know, us YouTubers, you know, the secrets. Mm -hmm. What's the secret sauce? Be yourself. Be original. Be consistent. Go hard. Take leaps of faith and take big risk. Do that consistently and be relentless at doing everything I just said. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. Take leaps of faith. Take leaps of faith. Take big risk. Big because you risk. know what comes with big risk, big right? Risk. Yeah. Big reward, right? A big failure. Or a big failure. But either way it goes, you shot the shot. Right. You can live with the shot when you That's shot right. the shot. What's you know that what I mean? One? Um, be consistent. Consistent. And be relentless at doing all the above that. And oh, did I say be yourself? Yeah. Well, let me double down on it again. Be yourself. Don't try to fit into a trend. Don't try to follow a trend. Create a trend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so and, and be relentless and consistent at doing all those things. Do it every day. What, what's been the big, like, uh, aha moment for you in terms of the thing that kind of got you over the hump or got you to a place where you knew, you know what, no matter what, if I keep putting in the work, I'm going to be successful on YouTube. What was the moment? What was the thing? Or when was that moment? When I got my first check, you know what I mean. Well, really, I say so. You talk about once I once I started or before? Either. Okay. Well, I will say what it was before. It's all about creating your niche, right? You get your niche, you find your niche, you can get rich, right? That's me and my dog three always say. And the thing is, is I seen a niche that wasn't filled in the game of YouTube. I watched YouTube for six years before I created a channel, and I seen how everybody was saying and doing the same shit. Everybody was trying to be like one another. Everybody just was doing repetitive. Like the content can be repetitive. Alright, go. right, bet. Hold on one second. I'm just dropping a little game. Um, the thing was, is the content can be repetitive because there's only so much content you create to do or do shit that ain't nobody else done unless you plan on jumping. Up. Unless you plan on jumping from outer space or something like that. You know what I mean? But other than that, it's gonna be duplicated to other right, Like there's a bunch of players in the NBA, but what makes the greats the greats? It's putting their unique touch in the game. You know what I'm saying? And on the game in a different way that's never been done before. That's how you become one of the greats, right? Same thing with YouTube. So before YouTube, I knew that there was nobody that could bring what I had to bring to the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna bring those to the game, but I'm gonna take those same bloopers that I've watched and noticed and absorbed and put my own spin on it. Now, when I created YouTube, I got my first check. It was eight hundred ninety some dollars, nine hundred eighty some. No, nine hundred some. I don't know, something like that. And um, I was like, damn. You know what I mean? And this wasn't something I was expecting no revenue from. It was just like. I just wanted to get the game. I wanted to do YouTube. I just wanted to, you know, tell people in a, in a digestible way, people like us, you know what I'm saying? And when I say us, I'm not just talking about black people, I'm talking about white, Mexican, purple, pink, blue, or white. You know what I'm saying? And I want to tell them like lease, finance, and give the real. There's so many people that's on YouTube right. that, that, that tell them, oh, I got this car, I got this, I got that, but they don't never show people how they can get it too. Right, right, right. And, and without finagling and coming up with all these lying ass ways of doing it, mm -hmm. just say it. You're already getting paid, just say it. So you know you're, you're just giving them the real in terms of the process as well. Right. And people weren't doing that. Right. Nobody was saying if they lease their finance. All of you do not own your car's cash. Right. Every car YouTuber does not own their car's cash. Right. Every car YouTuber does not own their house fully paid off. It's a lie. Right, right, well, there's right, a lot right. of them are lying. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to tell people, like, hey, listen, I leased my car and I'm proud of it. Right. This is how I got into the game. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get into the game and you came from a fucked up position and you didn't have no uh, silver spoon in your mouth, here's what you can do too. It might not be, not be the perfect way, but it's a it's an alternative way right. versus them what y'all seen and just thinking that this person has all the answers. Got it. So that's when I knew. Love you it. Know what I'm saying? Love it. I got some more questions, but I know they got the damn drone up. So okay. we're going to go do this damn thing. All right. Well, we all know where you hear us. Definitely couldn't see nothing. 
That's how you blow smoke. For now on, that's how you blow smoke. What up? <laughs> that was that. That was that. Did you Y'all get that? that? Y'all got that? <laughs> that was right. I cannot tell a lie. I like Hellkeezy 2.0. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah, man. It's the fastest. It, I, I haven't been in a car faster. Yeah, that's a, that's I haven't a, been in a car faster. That's a good step of a pool yeah, right Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's just all right. You've been in a lot of fast cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look, man, this is this is like dope, fast. Thanks for letting me drive. I haven't driven anything with this much horsepower either. Yeah. So that's that's dope. So I like it. I don't think I'm going to change my demon, though. I think I'm going to leave my demon this way. Mm, the way stop. it is stock. Yeah. Okay, and, why is uh, that? I, I mean, it's a, you know, because I'm just going to mess it up. It's a demon. If it was like not a, a, a limited car, one, yeah. if it wasn't You're a limited car, yeah, 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 yeah. If it wasn't a limited car, I'd, I would change it. So but if you had a Hellcat, you would? Yeah, if it was a Hellcat, definitely. I would do it. <laughs> so he pretty, pretty much said the Hellcats ain't worth nothing. <laughs> I ain't saying that. Okay, all right. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's some cars that just depreciate like a whole lot as soon as right. you get it. Then there are certain cars that depreciate sl slowly. Yeah. Hellcat, yeah. you know, red eye, mm -hmm. depreciate slowly. And then there's cars that, you know, depreciate very slowly or not really at all, you right. know? And so I, I appreciate the cars that don't really appreciate that and much. One of one bills, or yeah, one yeah. of 200, one yeah, of 300. Yeah, because that way I, I get to indulge in the shit that I like, you know, my car stuff. But Collector I get brain. to, coll yeah, I get to like indulge in the smartest way that I can indulge, you know what I mean? Right. Investment. Like, yeah, like it's something that, you know, the, the money's still there. You know? So you're saying you're willing to take a risk on a depreciating asset as long as it's an asset that could potentially appreciate. And also now, the other part about cars is you have fun in them. You know right. what I mean? You have a lot of fun in mm -hmm. cars. They bring you a lot of joy, you know, all that kind of thing. Right. So, so you get it, you know, there's some use out of it. So it's gonna depreciate a little bit, but I'd prefer a car that doesn't appreciate that much. Right. You know? <laughs>
how do I get started in something? Well, you got to get some knowledge in something. Yeah. So no, I like that. Now, and, and another part to add to it though would be even when the time is going bad, like when if you if, let's say if it, we're keeping it to you, let's keep it to something that I do. Yeah. Let's say when the views ain't busting, right? Let's say uh, when things ain't cracking the way you want to. You put all this money into a car to build up a certain level of platform or money and invest in the end game, right? If you're doing it for just I'm gonna do this and this is gonna make me rich, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. You see what I'm saying? You gotta your why is everything. You know what I'm saying? So if you're going to invest in it, you got to figure out why am I doing this? What's my goal from doing this, right? Mm -hmm. Passion is just one thing, but you still have to have a plan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like if I do this, I do the rap, I do the rims, I do all this stuff that everybody says is the blueprint to win on YouTube and I do it and it don't crack, then it's not you <laughs> doing it that's not the reason why it's not busting. You know what I'm saying? You got to figure it out. There's a different type of algorithm that's going to have to happen. Right. You got to dissect the equation, pull the thing that's not working out and put something that's working in. And then when you do that, you do that consistently, that's when you win. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But just putting the money in ain't going to do it. Yeah. It takes yeah. a lot more than that. Yeah. No, I like it. I mean, you know, when you say that, right, to me, it's like, oh, it's not guaranteed. Here's right. the blueprint. But just because you've done it doesn't mean it's just going to crack, right? So right. do it, figure it out, make the adjustments. And, you know, it's hard, though, because, like, on, on YouTube, it's funny because I've never considered myself a YouTuber. It definitely you know has, I mean? amongst a million but, other things. But, but I'm a YouTuber now. Yeah, you're a YouTuber. That's yeah, under your belt now. <laughs> you, got a, you got a plaque now, yeah, brother. It's yeah, on the yeah. way. So I don't consider myself a YouTuber, right? But, but I think recently, you know, I started looking at the numbers and paying attention. And I put a video out and it just does nothing. Right. It hurts your heart. It does. <laughs> it hurts your whole soul. Why, but why? You know, why does it hurt your heart? Why does it hurt your soul? Because you put so much effort in it, mm -hmm. right? And you want you know, people, you know, wanted to resonate with people. Yeah. And then when it doesn't, you Because you did it for like, people. damn, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So, and, and again, I'm saying it, and I've not made a dime off yeah. of YouTube, not one so dime. So if it's your livelihood. You know, right. If it's your livelihood and you put something out and nobody watches it, it's like, damn. So the bottom line, what I'm saying is, you know, doing this thing is just like any other business. There's going to be ups and downs. Yep. You know, some things you're going to try, it's going to work. Some things you try True. won't work, you know, but you got to keep at it and you got to, have a vision for what you're doing that you believe in. And yep. I think when you said, you know, find your niche and you will get rich kind of mm -hmm. thing, I think that's the important thing. It's like, I can't be tall guy. You know what I mean? 6'10", you know, got, you know, green eyes and stuff, ugly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you had that in, brother, because it looked like you was going the other way. So I just no, appreciate no, it. No, ugly. <laughs> ugly than a mother. <laughs> ugly, yeah. you know, but you know, I can't be this dude. I got to be me. Right. So, and that's the same thing with y'all, man. Thanks for dropping the knowledge on, on, on the gang, man. I know you're always dropping knowledge, right? And for a part of my platform is to specifically drop knowledge. Right. You drop knowledge on accident. You know what I mean? Right. You, just, you know what I mean? You just be doing your thing. You drop knowledge for me. It's like, no, it's like, why am I doing this video? I want to specifically drop it's knowledge. Right, right, right. It's more intentional. And I want to share my love of cars because I, hell, I love cars. And I love driving. You know that. You know, you know how much I love driving. Oh, uh, well, I know. In fact, if I showed all the driving I do. Man, you have 20,000 videos up on this <laughs> yeah. channel, man. Yeah. I promise you. So I love driving, man. But look, thanks for watching. Hey, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about my man's uh, information on how to grow on YouTube and what pieces of that information you're going to apply to your business and your life. So, because it applies outside of YouTube as well. So, anyway. Love you guys, man. Keep chasing it because if you chase your potential, you can't help but win.